Oh wow, Critter and uh, Critter and Murr. Critter and Murr were a static team for a little bit. Oh no, they went to the source things and uh, and definitely showed up. So I'm glad to see them out here. Static st static team versus static team is one of my favorite things. Static team and static team, yeah. Because mm -hmm. then you see some of the most high level, like really really thinking dubs. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to like, you know, pick up a teammate and just like. Oh, that's. I think that's why we see less people willing to commit to dubs. Oh, definitely. It's, it's so like, much harder than pick up and play, and I'm learning by myself. Is you got to get together with somebody and learn specifically how to work with this person against two other people. Yeah, I I definitely remember a. Uh, I actually like hated doubles when I first went to tournaments and mm -hmm. brawl. I was just like, why would anyone do this? And then, <laughs> and then you play with someone who's like. In who, sync with you? Yeah, who you can do stuff with, and it's like, oh, now I get it. Yeah. I remember he, playing with uh, Forsaken, this Brawl DDD, and he would just down throw a chain grab to the edge, and then I would jump over him and just down there while he was, like, holding oh them. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it was like, oh, this is what it feels like. This is beautiful. You know, yeah. I'm in so much control. You know, right now, I feel like control has been swapping between the teams. Nobody's willing to give an inch. First stock. Oh, okay. Pretty good mindfulness, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, sometimes there's not much you can do. Uh, I know that Ike doesn't... He has his back throw that has, like, an amazing hitbox, but with the position that Kaze was at, he just yeah, had to wait. He, yeah, I don't know what he could have done to not get sure you It's just that Merv wasn't able to spawn fast enough to help him out. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to hold that. That's another thing that's uh, kind of... Uh, hard to wrap your head around. It's like mm -hmm. grabbing and doubles is is more so risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like you don't want to do that. Two v one is just terrible. Mario normally has an amazing grab game, but he doesn't have the one on one time that he wants with people to make that down throw <laughs> amazing. You know, yeah. so you can't get as intimate. Yeah, <laughs> you have that intimate back throw gathering. Oh yeah. All right, lots of uh, hitboxes going on. Small lead for green team right now. We got Mario with somewhat stubby limbs, but other than that, we've got big feet from Ryu and a big sword from Mike. It is going to be difficult to navigate the screen. Oh yeah, you know, you know, Ryu's got some of that uh, that toe fungus, that athlete's foot going um, on. He literally does not wear shoes. If like. it doesn't hit you, you smell it, and then you're still <laughs> recoiling. Yeah, you know, he went to someone to the public bathroom without shoes on. It's like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh my goodness, Shoryu is definitely. One of the biggest parts of Ryu and Ducks. Yeah, Shoryu is, uh, you know, top five best move in the game. Easy. Man, and then when you add the add the factor that you can set up into it maybe with a partner situation or the fact that just grabs are so unsafe that Ryu can come in and I'm going to Shoryu. Yeah, literally run up and Shoryu and Or die. your partner can cover one option and force the other person to roll into you where you're standing there waiting to Shoryu. There's just so many more ways to set it up and more scary situations for Ryu. Like, yeah. I think they, uh, I think, you know, I don't think it was a coincidence that the DLC characters were really good. Absolutely not. So I'm, I think in Smash 4, you know, Cloud already looks a lot more modest. Yeah. I hear Ryu could be more modest. I I've, hear he's also really powerful, but Kaze yeah. told me earlier when he went to CEO that he was kind of underwhelmed with Ryu. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because, like, at, initially everyone was freaking out. Oh, yeah. You were always facing him. You know, it's just like so he's, he's got, got free retreating up till. Retreating up till, and, yeah. But, um, but he still has access to back air, so now... It's not even technical to back air and then start up tilting a shield and someone's scared, but I don't know. I, I think they... I uh, take Kaze's word for it. Yeah, but, you know, like Bayonetta, you know, it sounds like she got nerfed. Corrin mm -hmm. Instapin got nerfed. It sounds like... I feel like Nintendo knew what they were doing after, like, releasing the first couple of DLC characters. And it was like Roy and Mewtwo and Lucas, and they yeah. were all kind of weak. And, and they so, were like, well, nobody... We need the sales. Yeah. And you got to consider, like, at the start of the game, Rosalina, Diddy Kong, Sheik, they were all kind of busted in a very similar way, but we had so many patches. It took them, like, six patches to touch Sheik. It took, they them, kept, it took them a while. They kept giving her slaps on the wrist and, like, maybe this will do it. Maybe, the, oh, no, she's still really good. All yeah. right, we just got to hit her real hard now. And I remember then, that first tournament where Karna was just, like, up throwing, and he was just like, uh -huh. oh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> what, 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 dude? Yeah. And, like, DLC, we, they dropped, and then there was one patch 
the emergency Bayo patch. Emergency Bayo. And now she can still do all those things. It's just there's counterplay. Yeah, emergency Bayo. Didn't Corrin's counter get touched? A yeah, tiny Cor bit? Corrin's counter got touched. I still can't believe that counter is so yeah. powerful. I mean, I think that's it. Like, Cloud maybe got a baby slap on the wrist too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cloud up here got touched a little bit, mm -hmm. but. But then, like, imagine a scenario in which there was more time and more patches to go through. That's the thing I think a lot of people haven't been talking about with Ultimate, is not only do they already have, like, all these changes from the old game, but they're going to be supporting it. Yeah. And probably for a while. We're going to see a lot more patches still coming through. The game's going to stay fresh for a good minute. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Nintendo probably didn't want a patch. You know, it sounded like with Brawl, like, they were just like... Wow. Okay. I was scared. But yeah, I mean, patches patches are just super healthy for competitive games because oh, yeah. you're always going to miss something. Mm -hmm. There's no way it's like, all right, we released the perfect... Nobody releases the perfect game. Yeah. It's impossible. It just doesn't happen that way. Ooh, nice back air. Wow, they are... Uh, green team looking real strong. Yeah, green team looking strong. I think, like, blue team has a solid, like, handle on positioning, but they kind of back themselves into a corner too much. I feel like they have a singles positioning mindset, kind mm, of, yeah. where they're both just controlling one spot and not... They're backing themselves up too easily. Yeah, it's... Where it's harder to recover from in dubs, I think. Yeah, it's 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 definitely, though, super scary to... Even with a partner, like, you don't want to walk forward for you because then that was this great. happens. Yeah. Oh. Look at how... Look at how much work Shoryu puts in. He just deleted stocks. Mm -hmm. Like, Peach is strong. Peach can get some KOs. She's got that forward air, but having your partner with Shoryu access at all times. Yeah, I don't watch, uh, I don't see a lot of Peach and Dubs. You know, I don't really, like, uh, follow, or I haven't, like, watched Sansor or anything, but I'd be interested to see how other Peaches play, because, you know, Oryx is... He's Real really strong. good at being, yeah. yeah, he's really good at being defensive and um, making you want to want to go forward and then mixing you up. It's the stuff. worst. The right there. He's like, I'm going to pop your shield with something that looks a little un unpleasant. Yeah. Try to jab at a shield and eat a, eat a crown. Yep. Oh, my God. Ryu up throw, like. It it breaks shields. Yeah. That, I'm, Critter's kind of lucky that he came in for the second hit only. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. No. no, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's... Realistically, this is done. But uh, if there's anyone who's going to fight it to the end, it's Murr. Mm, yeah. I remember a while back when they were still oh, doing it. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah. They were doing college crews that, like, before we renovated the venue. I think it was at a DBA. And I think it might have been like three DBAs ago. No, oh, yeah. College crews, they they opened up with 